We've got a full plate tonight. We start things off with the Lafayette Jeff baseball team playing for the fifth day out of the last six, including a 5-4 to four road victory Wednesday night against the Eagles of Zionville. The Broncos have been facing the Eagles again tonight, this time at Loeb Stadium in Lafayette, and some good defense by the Broncos in this game. Let's start it off defensively. Nice play by Bronco first baseman Jeff Ripke. He throws over to pitcher Tyler Robbins, who hustles over to cover it first, and that is an out. Then another nice defensive play by another Bronco infielder, this time second baseman Brighton Harrington. Gets up throwing, throws it over to Ripke, and that's another put out. Well, we showed you Robbins hustling over and covering on first, and this guy's got a good arm. Tyler Robbins will get the strike out of the Zionsville batter, but uh, unfortunately, Broncos couldn't get enough runs on the scoreboard. Zionsville defeats Lafayette Jet by a final of 9-2. to two. Speaking of those numbers, Broncos still have a, an impressive season record of 9-2. and two. More baseball. Delphi hosting the top-ranked team in the state in Class A and Frontier. Falcons getting the bats going right away. Dylan Starrett rips one in the center. It one hops into the fielder's mitt. Grant Ream held at third base. And here's why. Frank Fisk would bring him home one batter later into a single to left field. It is one nothing Falcons. And then for the Oracle, senior Tanner Kripe settles down on the mound to record the strikeout right there. But they weren't out of the woods. John Mark Ream shot to third, too hot to handle. Starrett scores. Kripe would then record another strikeout to end the first inning here. But not enough. Hunter Gladish on the mound for Frontier. This is a K of his own, and the Falcons take this one. It's a slugfest by a final of 13-9 to to softball. Westside visiting third-ranked Delphi. First inning, Caitlin Schock with a strikeout from the mound for the Lady Oracles. But then West Lafayette would get the bats rolling early, and often in this one, Melanie Barnes crushes this one to the wall in right center. That plates Abby White, who was 4-for-4 four four in the game, by the way. Second inning, this throw gets away, allowing Ann McDonald to score for the Red Devils. And finally, we told you White went 4-for-4. Four four. Here's another one of those hits. It's an RBI single to right, allowing Rachel DeMondon to score. Red Devils take this one. Over Delphi by a final of 4-2. to two. At Harrison, the 7th-ranked Raiders hosting Lewis Cass. How about some run support in the second? Jaden Spitznagel ropes one into right. Haley Baker comes in to score, and here comes Abby Scouten following suit. The Raiders up 5 nothing after just two innings, and then Brooke Jordan was focused on the mound, giving it here 1, 2, and 3 Ks in the third inning. She would strike out the side, and Harrison rolling in this game. The defending state runner-ups would cruise in this one by a final of 6 to nothing over the Kings. All right, to pass along starting and going back to prep baseball. Harrison lost a tough extra inning road game to Westfield. 6-5 in nine innings. Two baseball scores you don't see on there. Brownsburg 9, McCutcheon 3, North Montgomery 14, Southmont 7. You see high school softball scores. McCutcheon downing Benton Central by a final of 7-2. to Twin Lakes defeating Pioneer by a final of 15-2. to Zinesville edges Lafayette Jeff by a final of 3-2. to And Tippecanoe Valley downed Winnemac by a final of 7-3. to In Major League Baseball, on the day where the league honored the late Jackie Robinson by players wearing the jersey number 42, the Cubs lost to the Brewers 8-6. to Cardinals fell to the Astros 5-1. to uh, Reds lost in a big margin uh, to the Marlins by a final of 10-2. And the White Sox lost in Toronto to the Blue Jays by a final of 7-3.